Hey there! Welcome to Life Noggin. I love stunts. The best part is feeling alive and feeling the wind in your hair. That's why I got this wig. The worst part is when your animator leaves you hanging. Luckily, anything bad that happens to my body can be fixed. See? Just prop back up. No bones broken. You fleshy skeletons, on the other hand, you actually have to fear for your safety. When fully grown, your body contains 206 bones. Wow, you humans got a lot of bones. Interconnected by tendons and ligaments. This skeleton keeps you moving and protects your organs, but any part can be damaged in the right circumstances. Some bones are long and others are short, but each and every skeletal bone has a hard exterior of connective tissue, filled with tiny canals for your blood and soft spongy tissue which houses even more bone-forming cells. When a bone fractures, whether it's a small crack or a clean break, your immune system rushes to the rescue. As your blood begins to clot, it forms a callus, and cells on either side will then thread together and seal tight, slowly turning it into bone. The whole process can take over a year, depending on the size, severity, and location. And if you're not careful, you can snap it again. For a brief time, when the fracture is receiving all the attention, this area will be stronger than the rest. Over time, the bone's strength will be balanced, and any spot just as likely to break. Still, snapping it in the same place would be pretty darn unlucky. Even among kids who are most prone to fractures, there's only a 5% chance of breaking your forearm a second time in the exact same place. If given the time to heal, you could theoretically break the same spot over and over again, as long as you have good blood supply, strong muscles, and a solid immune system. In fact, Evil Knievel, pioneer stuntman, won the Guinness World Record for fracturing 433 bones in his entire career. But it isn't just daredevils that experience multiple breaks. Stress or hairline fractures are some of the most common injuries, mainly impacting bones in your lower legs, like the tibia. Obviously though, not every bone or person heals the same. The collarbone is the most likely bone to break, whereas the thigh bone is the strongest and can take many more months to fully recover. Yet even with the best treatment, some bones just won't heal. These cases are called non-union fractures, and they can cause long-term pain and even loss of function. To give your bones the best chance of recovering, doctors say that humans should exercise regularly and eat a proper diet rich in calcium and vitamin D from a young age. Especially if you're a born stunt performer like me. Woo! So have you ever broken a bone? Maybe multiple? If you have any broken bone stories you're comfortable with sharing, let me know in the comment section below. Curious to know what would happen if you had no bones? Yeah, you're gonna wanna check out this video. Obviously your bones are a pretty important part of your body, but why? There are 206 of them in the average adult and babies are actually born with even more, around 300 or so. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.